Welcome to Tabby's Tutorials from therockpaintinggirl.com. Today I'm going to show you how to paint a watercolor rose on a rock. This watercolor rock painting kit is from Tabby's Rock Kit subscription box. You'll get a new rock painting kit in the mail each and every month. We always have a lot of fun in the Rock Kit Club. So go to therockpaintinggirl.com to learn more. For this month's watercolor rock painting kit, I included a reference guide from a watercolor artist and her name is Gina Rainey. Okay, we have our white rock. I painted two coats of acrylic paint on this rock and let it dry. Next I'm taking the red watercolor paint and I drew a tiny little circle in the middle of the rock and I'm going to continue to make little half circles around the middle circle. And you're going to want to make sure that your paint has a lot of red watercolor paint on there. You do have to dip it quite a bit. But as you can see, it's starting to look like the middle of a rose. So you're going to continue just making half circles around the little circle. Okay, next you're going to clean off the brush, dip it in water, dry it on a paper towel, and then dip it in more water and get your pink watercolor paint wet. And you're going to take the pink watercolor paint and also make little half circles around the other half circles. Try not to have the brush too wet because you don't want it to bleed into the red too much. As you can see, I continue to make half circles around the red portion and the pink of the rose. And as you move out further away from the little red circle, you'll want to push a little bit harder on your brush so that your strokes are a little bit wider so that it starts looking like petals. The other thing I do is go in and try to blend it just a little bit so that it looks more natural. Once your rose starts developing after making multiple half circles and it starts to resemble a rose, you can go back in and define it with the red and the pink. I'm going in right here with the red and just defining the rose a little bit more. Look at that, it's a rose. So next we're gonna take the green paint and we're gonna make leaves coming out from the rose. And there it is, a watercolor rose on a rock. It's beautiful. Um, however, I do not recommend putting any sealer on any watercolor rock paintings. Um, I found that it takes the paint right off the rock. So we'll just have to leave it all natural. Thanks for watching.